Hello there. I'm Matt. And we are late to the party on to episode four of The Bad Batch. Moving right along, the crew took a backseat to last week's episode. It was a Cody and Crosshair show, so uh, I'm assuming we're going to get back to the gang and whatever they're up to. Right. Uh, I liked last episode because it kind of shows, like, little by little that these clones are starting to question uh, certain things and even go AWOL. Like, Cody's gone. And so that's interesting. And I'm I'm hoping, you know, he teams up with Rex in the future because that would be cool. Uh, I know that some people were talking about, like, that'd be cool if he, you know, talks about his time with Obi-Wan Kenobi. Like, that'd be cool, too. But uh, uh, I'm interested to see what else our band of Bad Batchers get themselves into. Yeah. And they're going AWOL, but how many of them are actually going AWOL, but they're just getting taken out by their It's very true. You know, officers in charge. But let's get into the newest episode. If you want to check out our watch alongs for all the episodes of the Bad Batch, they're available on our Patreon. And if you've not subscribed, click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when we drop these. Uh, we do appreciate all those who subscribed already, uh, but let's get those numbers up. But let's get into episode four of The Bad Batch now. now. <laughs> Wasn't there a rock movie called Faster? Back to Ord Mantel. Yeah. I got you this time. A little degeric. She's like, nah. Bye-bye. <laughs> now you owe me two cartons of Mantel mix. One more game. Double or nothing. I got another job for you. What kind of racing? All right. What kind of racing? Pod racing? Nope. Riot racing. Oh, riot racing. <laughs> Damn. Love the sound effects. Yeah, the sound is nice and, like, clear. Did you enjoy the show? It's impressive. <laughs> Wasn't it? Did you see me out there? I know that voice. Is that Kumail Nanjani? It's either that or Ben Schwartz. It does sound like one of them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> a seat, spectacled spectator. Because it kind of sounds and like now, Sonic a little. Now that I think about it, it sounds like Ben. Yeah. I mean, Ben Schwartz is BB-8, so he's yeah. already in the family. It's been a long time since Damn. I've seen your shiny claws around. It's a big boy. He's got a Gamorrean guard with him. You're a decent boy. Yeah. <laughs> What's he saying? You do not want to know. <laughs> <laughs> That's how they can cuss in Star Wars. Right. Given the unpredictable nature of like this course, I cannot... Corn dogs on a stick? <laughs> yeah. Got us out of the protocol droid. Yeah. Oh! Okay? oh, oh shit. That's how you know it's good. So rotten luck there. <laughs> That's how you know it's a good show. <laughs> Do not take the left tunnel. Tail knows what he is doing. Oh. So it looks like that left tunnel is going to come in handy soon. <laughs> Get him in the crunch. God dang it. Get the nose. <laughs> it reminds me of Wipeout, that old uh, PlayStation game hmm. from Hackers. Uh -oh. Doing the wind resistance. <laughs> They're drafting. Shit. Oh, damn. Rubbin is racing. Damn. Oh, ah, no. At least he crossed the finish line. True. How much does she owe? Double or nothing. More than you got, kid. How do you know? One last race. If you win, we pay you double. Yeah, double or nothing. <laughs> we race tomorrow. And I keep Sid as collateral. Dang. Who's going to ride it? Are they fixing him? Oh, it looks like they're fixing him. I mean, it's either going to be Omega or Tech. I am ready to... Where are my arms and legs? <laughs> <laughs> that was great. Let Teo instruct you how to do Shut up, Teo. Yeah, he's like, uh, just shut up and let me repair you. About a little less chatter, a little more spanner. It's clever. Yep. They're like, we gotta get as much of him I know, in this yeah. episode <laughs> as we can. <laughs> Teo, 
is your only chance at victory. Uh, He's so smug that he refers to himself in the third person. Defense is the best. Oh! <laughs> you dumbass. I got ran over by a speeder. <laughs> <laughs> what is he doing walking on the track? Once again. I regret nothing. <laughs> well, good for you that you regret nothing. <laughs> I will be the racer. Hey, Tick! He's gonna use that one tunnel, left tunnel. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh! It looked like a battle droid's head on a protocol droid's body, like C-3PO in Attack of the Clones. Yes. Don, Don, that was a hot to chat reference they did. It's not a reference, but. It's a joke using hot the chat. Come on. It's working. <laughs> I know. It's very Phantom Menace. Yeah. You gotta be in front to win. I no shit. Tactic. It's called strategy. No, it's called losing. <laughs> I mean, if you're still last by the end, yes. Right. Let them all destroy each other. That's and true. And come in and yeah. swoop in. Yeah. Boo. Less to deal with. Yeah. This music! Hell yeah! Transmit the schematics of the left tunnel to my display. On it! You should have done that ahead of time. You gotta study the track. I like that. I know. <laughs> it's like, are you driving this or you're mine? I know, backseat drivers. Let me drivers. handle it. They were slowing me down. Yeah. Woo! He's going to run and not gun. Save the energy. Yeah. But you're still in last place. Not for long. It will if I'm going fast enough. I am speed. You follow? You think you can do it? Yeah. Whoa. Get right to the ceiling. Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah. Bye bye. It's like driving to Batmobile in uh in Arkham Knight. Shit! <laughs> I feel the need, the need for speed. Sounds like Dark Knight. No, the way it sounded like it sounded like the do 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 like in scary movie when they're doing the ball thing. <laughs> That's what it sounded like. When they're dribbling. Yeah. Ah! Ah. <laughs> bye bye. Damn! Photo finish! Through the dust. Yeah! <laughs> tech! 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 You did it! You sound surprised. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there tech. you go. Tech! Yeah, see, that's what I would be doing there. <laughs> Aww. Make you feel good, buddy. Yeah. What uh, do you do? Okay. That loyalty is admirable. There you go. But with Sid, it doesn't always go both ways. Ooh. Watch your backs. Words of wisdom. Maybe. Hey, if she I doesn't... mean, granted, Sid might have had a CD past and sure. done things. That's true. But... People can turn a new leaf. Yeah, that's true. Man, I want a video game with like all the different versions of racing in the yeah. Star Wars universe. Like you could have the pod racing. You could have this. You could even ride those damn horses from The Last Jedi. All right, we'll keep those ones out. Swoop racing. Bench horse. Did it? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> So didn't even realize that the big guy was Ernie Hudson looking nice. through the credits. That's <laughs> exciting. But yeah, Ben Schwartz uh, was the cocky robot pilot. Yes. Uh, and we it's <laughs> it's Ben Schwartz. I mean, he does have a style that is very, you know, him, very right. John Ralphio, right. very Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah. So, I mean, he fit quite well in uh, this episode. It, he did. And I, I do like when you've got like a little sassy droid like that because you know we're so used to having uh like 
I would say R two D two is sassy, but he doesn't have like he doesn't speak the basic language. That's true. Uh, but then you have you know C three P who does, but he's very more like proper. Yeah, exactly. Um, and so having droids like this who are kind of like, hey man, like it's <laughs> it's always fun to have those around. And Ben Schwartz is, I think, one of the voices of BB eight. I yes. know there's like dual voices, but uh, for the most part, he wears the badge of honor as BB eight. So, yeah. but again, doesn't speak Galactic Basic. So getting to have a John Ralphio in robot form is always a good time. The racing, the music during the racing, it did feel like Wipeout from PlayStation back in the day. Uh, Crash Override is the number one in that game. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's always nice to get that uh, world in Star Wars because the Phantom Menace introduced us to pod racing and you got to figure there's so many different forms of it that I like to see it. It's fun every time that they give it to us. So getting to see something that's similar to Wipeout in the Star Wars universe. I know swoop racing is very similar too, but that's more, you know, motorbikes type deal. But yeah, wondering where also Hunter and Echo were because they were obviously on their mission. Granted, they were just delivering some stuff. Was that a way just to get them out of the episode or is the next episode going to go to them and show us whatever's going on? I feel like it was just a way to kind of get them out of the episode. You don't need them. Um, And we got to focus more on our other characters such as Tech and mainly Tech, but like Tech tech and Wrecker and Omega is there too. Yeah. Uh, But yeah, we got to see a little bit more of Tech because, you know, when you have that uh, ensemble of your characters because you've got hunter who is kind of like he's the leader yeah so you get more time with him and then he had that like relationship with omega so you got more time with that getting omega you have more time with that you know you have crosshair you get more time with too and then um we got a little bit more time with uh echo as far as like his situation and what happened with him so kind of kind of getting a little bit more of the other characters. I'm hoping that maybe we get more with Wrecker too. Uh, but to get more I'm with sure. Tech here, it was fun. And I'm hoping that that wasn't foreshadowing that Sid's going to do something to the Bad Batch. Yeah. Because, I mean, they have built up a relationship and they've helped her get out of jams. And she's helped them get out of jams just by supplying jobs and money and escape to be able to hide. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I'm just hoping it's not leading up to her ending up screwing over the Bad Batch. Right. For her own gain, you know, or for her own life, you know, Um, because I feel like they could figure it out together, but she may do something to help herself out versus the Bad Batch. But we'll see when we get there. Plenty more Bad Batch to go. What did you guys think of this episode? Let us know in the comments below. What's your favorite version of Star Wars racing? Tell us down there. You can also like and subscribe. And do the thing on our Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, Discord. All the social networking gin joints, you know where they are. Kick into the party fuel, the party to keep the party going on our Patreon. Check out the reaction we did for The Last of Us, episode one. It definitely was heartbreaking and a hell of a time. It's available on the channel now. Thank you so much. And as always. Now it's time to say goodbye. And this party is over. Bye. Bye.